Coach, what can we expect this year? Well, let's hope for the best. And, and uh, I think most teams in the country are at that point right now where they're very optimistic and, and looking forward to a great year. We have uh, challenged ourselves with a great schedule. Uh, I think it's one worthy of our fans coming to see. I think we have, uh, have built this program the right way where we have staggered classes now with freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. Uh, we have some experience, and I feel like we've improved ourselves in the backcourt. So uh, I have high hopes. Let's talk about some of the freshmen, some of the new faces we're going to see. Well, Terry Wynn is a freshman who is uh, six, six and a half, 235 out of uh, Monroe, Louisiana who will be different than what we've had, a very physical uh, inside-outside player who can help us defensively by guarding inside and outs. And uh, uh, the little bit that I've observed uh, to this point uh, appears that he might be one of our better rebounders. Uh, Omega Harris uh, is a guard who uh, can not only score, but I think run a team. I think he's a guy that I would not want to coach against from the standpoint that he can put pressure on a defense by trying to take the ball by defenders. Uh, uh, he's going to have to learn uh, the college game. We're going to have to find out how hard he'll play for how long, uh, but appears to have a lot of talent. Uh, Trey Touchette was uh, player of the year in the state of Louisiana. Um, better athlete uh, than advertised. That surprised me about him. Can make shots. Uh, will go back and uh, defend it. Uh, doesn't turn it over. And I think it's going to, uh, uh, for those reasons, is going to be able to help us as a, as a freshman. And uh, Lou Stallworth. Uh, freshman out of Los Angeles, very physical point guard, uh, very good penetrator, very good finisher, uh, doesn't appear to turn it over much. Uh, uh, like the others, still has a lot to learn. Uh, Irvin Moore Morris is another newcomer, junior college two guard, first junior college player we've taken since we've been here. Uh, I think he can score it in a lot of different ways, as a poster, as a driver, as a shooter. Uh, some changes in personnel last year. You had kind of a question mark at times at the point guard position. Mm -hmm. Has that been solved and how do you see that unraveling? Well, uh, one of my theories on life is everything in excess. We went without point guards, so we said, let's go sign four of them. And we think we've got a bunch of guys that can dribble. And uh, we've got a lot of guys that are capable of playing in the backcourt this year, along with CJ's uh, returning experience. CJ was a player going into last year, wasn't sure if he was a starter, a backup, a pointer, an off guard. And uh, I think he gained uh, tremendous confidence with the role that he was in last year. One of the last things you told me last year is you, you thought you may need to add a big. Update us on, on Matt's condition and, and your post play. Well, Matt uh, went through off season surgery. Um, he was able to eat and gain weight that way. He was later able to, uh, uh, for the last seven weeks, lift and has put on about 15 pounds. We all know he needed to gain weight. He's put on 34 since he's gotten here. Uh, that's his biggest issue. Uh, gained uh, a lot of experience by starting 23 basketball games as a freshman. Ultra talented. Uh, we're expecting great things from him. Uh, Terry Wynn's gonna help us inside. If we wanna play four perimeters, Vince Hunter can play as a, we know he's a small forward, can guard force. Uh, Cedric Lang, uh, a lot of experience. So. Uh, the guy that's really played well here in the last three weeks of offseason is Hooper Vent. You know, he's been here four years now. He's gained weight and he's stronger uh, and uh, I think more confident. What do you want to see out of this group over the next couple of weeks? Here? Well, you know, we have to establish team play and uh, we have to uh, make sure that we get a mindset that everybody's worried about the other guy. They're all trying to learn individually, uh, but uh, the mindset team wise, that uh, both offensively, uh, I may have a shot, but uh, there may be uh, one more pass may lead to a better shot. Um, the mindset defensively that uh, my teammate uh, may get beat on a cut or a pass or a drive, and uh, I need to be in position to help him. So those things are, are, are overall concepts uh, that we're going to uh, try to get into our team and try to get rid of some of these awful, awful habits that are formed in the offseason and pick up basketball. But so much, uh, so many new players that you guys have, especially in the backcourt. How open is it uh, for playing time? How open is the competition? Amongst well, the you know, uh, I, I, I wouldn't want anybody here that didn't uh, try to go challenge. I think if we asked our team right now uh, how many minutes they thought they're going to play, we've got uh, uh, 12 scholarship players. I think all 12 of them say they're going to play at least 32 minutes. Uh, the math just won't, won't add up. Uh, those things are going to be earned. 
uh, even by the returners. Uh, you know, it's not like we uh, went to the Elite Eight last year. Um, so, uh, yeah, those guys have gotten better. But uh, we got some, hopefully, some freshmen that are going to be around here for a long time and they're going to be very good players. Kind of relying on Julian a little bit more to kind of be a number one option on offense. Well, you know, he led us in scoring last year. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, it, we're we're going to play to to who. Um, who not? Uh, let, let me let me rephrase that. Uh, I've never thought in terms of number one option. Uh, I've thought in terms of our best player that night getting the most attempts, our second best player getting the second most attempts, third best player getting the third most attempts, and that oftentimes is dictated by matchups in a game. It's uh, dictated by uh, um, how guys have worked and how they've played and what they've earned to get there. But. Uh, it's like I said, we, we haven't uh, we we haven't done enough around here to just uh, anoint anybody with any role or title right now. I, I don't think. How fun is it to have a matchup with the, the guards that you have to be able to possess with uh, matchup problems in the team? Well, you know, I, I feel like we're going to be uh, at times very athletic, at times very long. Uh, I think at times very versatile. Um, at times experienced, you know, um, at times we can put shooters on the floor and at times rebounders. And the key here over the course of the next five weeks is trying to find those five guys that we can count on every night to go do all of those things uh, that can be great teammates uh, that, that understand that uh, we're building a road mentality uh, defensively that we can take our game to the road and go try to win games on the road, that we're trying to build a team right now that can go play against the best team on our schedule and have an opportunity to win, um, not trying to, to play our worst opponent and try to score 130 one night. We're trying to build a team that can count on themselves to play against anybody in the country. And uh, um, hopefully, uh, you know, our guys have watched the NCAA tournament the last couple of years on TV. Uh, that are returning, that uh, they're willing to do uh, anything that's asked to get us to that point. Do you feel like the loss of John inside might hurt you guys or the improvement of Matt, Hooper, and then addition of Terry will kind of combat that? Well, you know, I, f I feel like we're a very versatile team that can play with four perimeter guys. If you call Vince on a perimeter guy, I, th I think he is definitely a, a three, and I think uh, Julian Washburn's a two. Uh, but we've added Irvin Morris, who can allow us to play uh, four perimeter guys, four big perimeters. Uh, but we can also play big uh, with Cedric Lang and Hooper Vent, and Matt Wilm and, and uh, Terry, Terry Wynn. Uh, you know, a guy that we haven't talked at all about that um, really helped us uh, last year is our El Paso one, Tevin. Uh, you know, he, he's uh, played solid minutes, always seemed to do good things when he was out there. And I'm not going to forget about him as we move forward. We're going to have an open competition. And um, we've got some guys that, that uh, should try to go grab spots. But uh, if John Bohannon was here this year, he'd have to go earn a spot as well. But he's not. What would you define as a successful year? Well, I don't know. Uh, a lot of things happen throughout the course of a year. You know, we may get uh, our five best players, uh, God forbid, out with injuries. You know, so. I don't know. I, 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 I will um, gauge that based on who we are, what happens to us, to us throughout the year. Um, we're relying on some freshmen. Sometimes it takes them longer than other guys, but they have to learn that, how hard they have to play early on. Um, I know we've challenged ourselves schedule-wise. There are scenarios where we might open up 0-7. You know, when you look at our first seven games, they're brutal. Absolutely brutal. But uh, I'll say that uh, what we're trying to prepare to do is not go 0-7. We're trying to build a lot of confidence throughout those first seven games that will uh, carry us through what I think will be a very challenging conference year. Our conference is so spread out with 15 teams. I have no idea what's going on in Kentucky right now, in Western Kentucky, who they've added, who they don't have. We don't recruit in the same circles. It's not like the old days in the Mountain West where we knew who everybody had uh, uh, had on their team and who they were adding. Uh, it's, it's a different world with transfers and uh, the dynamics of this league. Cedric, what are you looking forward to this year? Well, 
First day of practice today, uh, we're really excited. Uh, it's been a long summer for us with uh, playing open gym every day, a couple workouts here and there. But uh, with these new guys this year, we're really excited for uh, what's coming. Jim said that pickup games do nothing but install bad habits in you guys. Yeah, you know, pickup here and there gets a little sloppy. We're playing the same guys every day, you know, it's it's the same thing. So, uh, you know, we've really been looking forward to this day, you know, so we coached. As a veteran on the team, what would you try to show and tell some of the younger players? But you just go hard every day, you know, it's going to be a long season. Today's the first day of it. Um, you're going to have your day where Coach Floyd's going to pick on you, but you just push through it and uh, keep playing. Talk about the mixture of the team. What's that? Talk about the mixture of the team. Yeah, just losing Bo Hannon last year, that's obviously going obviously to hurt us, but uh, we got a couple seniors on the team this year. Uh, and then with these new guys coming in, they're really talented, really skilled, and they have a, a lot of motivation to win, so we can use that. Last year, you guys were lacking in guard play. It seems like you got it now. You lost Bo Hannon, but we still have depth you know, down low. So. Yeah, we feel like we're a lot deeper this year. You know, We brought in Lou, Omega. We got Vic that can back up CJ. So we're going to have guys that can come off the bench and really help us. I feel like we're going to be pretty deep in post play, even though we lost Bo Hannon. Uh, I think all around we'll be pretty deep in every position. Last season kind of taught the ambiguity or just the uncertainty of the season with player, losing players, just injuries, stuff like that. Are there any expectations uh, this season with just taking it step by step, day by day? Yeah, I mean, we weren't excited. I mean, we weren't thrilled about what happened last season at all, and uh, we weren't satisfied. So this is a new year for us. For us seniors, it's our last go around, so we got to do something now. Do you have like a point of emphasis to work on this year? Well, personally or as a team? Personally. Personally, uh, you know, I want to rebound the ball a lot better, obviously get my free throw percentages up, you know, make people come out and guard me on the perimeter more. I think that'll open up the floor a lot more. Yeah, we definitely want to get there, man. Um, those five seniors that we have, we haven't been there. Uh, the only thing I've heard about it personally is from Tyler Tafoya. He's told me about it, he's been there, and so I'd love to be there. It'd be great for our team, and it'd really end my career at Utah with a plus. Been such a different for you personally this year, coming in as a freshman just a year ago, now having the experience of starting, being one of the leaders on the team. Um, this is going to be an exciting year. Everybody got to step up their game, especially me. Step up my game off and on the court, being a leader, being a sophomore, one of my second year. So it's going to be a good year for us. We just got to stay focused on and off the court. What can you tell us about some of the new people? Because the new guys are going to play this year. Um, all the new guys, they're, they're real competitive. And they all like to work. We all put in work, individual, off, I mean, on the court, on our free time. So every time I'm in the gym, I, I see all the young guys in there. And I like to see that. I, I know they're willing to work. You know, I know they're willing to put the work in. Now we just got to uh, put that on in practice. How about your game specifically? Now? Has it kind of expanded more premier, uh, perimeter oriented? Excuse like me? That? How has your game expanded over this? Um, just been working on my ball handling, working on my jump shot. That They got a lot better. Been putting in a lot of hours um, shooting. A lot of shots a day, and ball handling, and working on my position change at the three man. So hopefully that improves and should be a little bit better. So you're, sure. you're more or less subscribed to the three roll instead of playing inside board. Yeah, uh, Coach Floyd and us, we sat down and we talked, and we just focus on playing the three position and guarding the three, and I'll be fine. Talk about that chemistry. Um, we're gonna be working on a lot of defense today, so might not see. We're gonna see us talking a lot, talking loud, and just gotta implement that that um, defense in. So our offense gonna be there. It's defense. That's that's how we play, and that's how we want to play with defense.